so it's midweek of uh, where are we now week seven I think it is um, and I said on Monday that I'm looking forward to um, milestone Monday um, purely because I could end up being under the twelves it's high possibility now um, and that and then when I do that that means that I have lost a stone and a half finally <laughs> I thought that it's halfway and when I was re-watching myself on the first video I did say that I had a medium term goal which I completely forgot about yeah because all I've been doing is saying you know I want to get to 10 7 and for the week I, I want to lose this much pound this much pound which is you know usually like two to three pounds that's all I, I want to lose a week yeah um last week I lost one pound but as we already know it's to it's totem time of the effing month and um you know so I'm still happy that I lost even on that so this week have I cheated I had one Kit Kat so it's literally been chicken TLC and I did buy the vitamin D tablets I managed to find them these are like extra strength vitamin D today I took one yesterday I'm gonna take the other one um, at lunchtime, yeah, I just take them once a day, that's it, and they'll come in like a cap of 60, it cost me two quid, anyway, yeah, I thought that I'd reflect back on, um, like, my journey so far, and number one is to be mentally prepared, now, I said before that I wanted to lose weight, and I tried, and I failed, and I lost motivation, and I think this time has been completely different, you know. I knew I wanted to change. When you tell yourself, you know, I'm ready now, I'm ready, right? I've, I've let myself go for too long now. I'm not feeling happy about myself and I'm ready. I'm ready to make a change. I'm ready to be committed and I'm, I'm going to do this, yeah? You know, I wouldn't give a shit if I had curry three times a week, if I had a Macca's, if I had KFC, if... I had a domino, I was on the internet, you know, ordering the food to come, you know, I would not give a flying fuck, you know, if I, I could have breakfast, take my daughter to school, come back, think, oh, 10 o'clock, I'm hungry, I'll eat a lasagna, you know, I just didn't care, I had no self-worth, I, you know, if, if someone said to me, you know, eat some quinoa, I would have thrown it in their face and said, fuck off with your quinoa, but, you know, times change, and I want jeans, yeah, remember that, so... Number two, have a food plan. So, you know, and at the minute, all I'm eating is chicken TLC and quinoa. Yeah, that's all I'm eating um, and a bit of bread. That's it. I would recommend having a food plan, you know. If you're the sort of person that's sort of like, um, oh, I don't know what to eat, so I just grabbed something, then that's when, that's where you know your problem is, yeah. And also with a food plan, you can look at what meals you can prep. You can look at um, what you what you're buying. Um, if you need to portion anything out, you know, like I, I don't have to do any meal prep or any of that. You know, um, I just buy the quinoa, uh, which has lasted me a long time. I haven't been shopping for quinoa since um, the week I tried on jeans, which I think was week three. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so yeah i all i do is just basically weigh it weigh it and put it in a pot and that's it so i weigh it all out and then i just pick whichever one i want to eat um but definitely a food plan i think for some people can help them stay on track for me not really because i know what i'm eating anyway number three tell others so tell the people that you're close with you know don't be telling me about donuts don't be telling me about chocolate because I'm going to get tempted. And if I get tempted, it's your fault. Hmm. Number four, number four, sorry. Eat at regular times. I can't stress this enough, yeah? So I've been reading quite a bit into this now. And they're saying that, you know, starvation mode isn't a thing and all this, yeah? So I eat at regular times because I find if I don't eat at the times um, that I eat at, then um, my IBS starts playing up. And... That doesn't mean I'm going to have an IBS attack, but I can feel it all, you know, doing its thing and it hurts. 
So I find eating at regular times really helps for me. Eat breakfast at about eight o'clock. I'm having two pieces of toast. And then I eat lunch anywhere from about 12 to a half one, right? That's as far as, that's as long as I can last. Um, and then I'm having my dinner anywhere between like five and six. Um, and also drinking water in there as well, yeah. Number five then, if you're full, stop. Your stomach is shrinking. Stomach has got big because it's been eating all this all this food that it just shouldn't have been eating or it should have been eating in moderation, but, you know, we're just not like that. You know, there are going to be times where you eat your food and you're going to get full and sometimes you think, oh, you know, but it's healthy, I should eat it, right? Just don't eat it, don't eat it, right? You're full, you're full, you're full, you're full, you're done, right? That's it. Put the foot down. Put the knife down, put the plate down, put it down, all right? Yeah, let the body do the digesting. Because it takes, you know, a few minutes for for belly message to reach brain to say, yeah, we're full. And that's how people over it, because that's what I'm saying, take your time when you eat, because you could eat something in, like, 20 minutes. You know how, like, sometimes where you eat food in, like, 20 minutes? Let's say McDonald's, right, for example, perfect example, right? You go to McDonald's. You come back with your mac chicken sandwich meal, which has got your chips. Now, I don't drink fizzy drinks from them anyway, so I've got a bottle of water, right? And you know how you can eat your burger and your chips, right? Have your drink, and you're like, oh, I'm still hungry. That's exactly the type of thing. Now, how many calories are in there? Fucking one million. There you go. Now you're dead. So, sometimes, right, when you eat slowly, and you just, like, you know, enjoy your food, for God's sake, stop like hot, like sucking it all up. So, next, be strong. Oh, be strong. So, there are going to be times where you feel like shit. I don't want to carry on anymore. You know, maybe just like me, you have not had a poo. Um. Maybe it's a birthday and you just want to go out. Maybe you've just given up. You know, you thought it was going to be easy. It hasn't been easy. But you've got to keep going. And you will. Because you know why? Rule number one, mentally prepared. Make nonsense rhymes and sayings, which is what I've been doing. So um, I, I just continuously say I want jeans. Um, I say that I love chicken TLC. And I refer to every other food as devilish and sinful. Love quinoa. Quinoa's my best friend. So then, that brings me on to record your progress. And I think you should, you know, whether it's recording yourself, like I am. I didn't want to, you see. I didn't want to um, take a picture of myself. I wanted to just go on my journey and just be like, hey, yeah, 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 I'm done. But... In a way, I am happy. I, I am really glad I did do it. I'm glad that I took a photo of, you know, take a photo of your front, of your side, of the scales. You know, some people like to do a full 360. Um, and I think it's good because sometimes, you know, you, you can lose weight, but, um, you, and, but you can't really see it. Yeah, that's what I think I'm trying to say. Um, so... Also, when you when you like measuring yourself, you know, measure your body. You know, I've just done the basic three: the the chest, the hips, and the waist. Um, you know, I could have gone further. I could have done my arms. I could have done my thighs. You know, um, but I haven't done that. I'm just more bothered about getting my hourglass shape back. So, <laughs> um, and my jeans. Yeah, because I want jeans. I think when you're recording your progress as well, you know, when you have the pictures and it's good when, because, you know, you you might want to make a collage and you might want to see, you might, I don't know, right, it's up to you, but, you know, just play with it, it's fine. Uh, but I would say, you know, take a picture of yourself, um, even if it's just for you, only you see it, that's fine, you know, it's your, it's your personal thing. And just... You know, it's all part of the journey, yeah? Because you're not going to get any worse than where you were when you started, yeah? If, you, if you're mentally ready, you're mentally strong, you'll know that, okay, like, I, I am not going to end up, like, 
worse than this. I'm not going to end up putting another stone or two on. I'm only going to get better. Number nine, don't be too hard on yourself. Definitely, yeah? We all want to lose the weight quick. And anyone who says they don't is lying, yeah? There have been times, I remember on my second week, where I lost one pound. Right, after I lost, what was it? Was it six pounds I lost? Yeah. So, I lost six pounds in the first week, and then I lost one pound in the second week. Now, I know seven pounds in two weeks is a lot. Um, but I remember feeling like, oh no, <laughs> um, but I went through it and now look, here we are again, so it's happened again, I've lost a pound, but I know why. If you're eating the right food and you're doing what you're meant to be doing and you're feeling fine and you're not endangering your health, then don't be too hard on yourself, yeah, sometimes you need to just mix things up a bit to, to get the weight loss going again, you know, I haven't hit my plateau yet, um, I'm hoping I don't. Because um, I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. But we'll come to that bridge when it happens. Cheat a little. Yeah, you know. <laughs> the body, when it is screaming out for something, you've got to give it, yeah? In my case, you know, the chocolate, well, I haven't had any dairy. So, <clears throat> my body was probably screaming out for some dairy at that point. You know, we were looking at the vitamin D deficiency. It's okay to cheat a little because it's just little yeah i had a little kit kat one little one little tiny kit kat at the start of the week yeah that's it i don't want another kit kat because i'm mentally prepared yeah because i want jeans yeah so <laughs> it's okay to cheat a little you can treat yourself but just a little yeah 11 how do you feel I think it's important to always address your mind as well. Your body is one thing, and sometimes a big change can really invoke these emotions, yeah? And when you really ask yourself, how am I doing? How am I feeling? Am I okay? Yeah? Now, you might be okay. You might not be okay, but I think as long as you know you're there for you, that's the main thing, yeah? And, you know, because it's not about how you look, you know what I mean? It's like 100% it's not all about that, you know, it's got to be 50-50, it's got to be, what did I say, like healthy body, healthy mind, and you're not going to have this banging body at the end and then your mind's all messed up, you know? You know, if you're just honest with yourself and just say what what you're feeling in your head, you know what I mean? Like, how, how do I feel? I'll tell you how I feel, yeah? So compared to seven weeks ago, I'm feeling a lot more confident. I'm feeling like my self-esteem's getting higher. Um, but, however, my anxiety has been really up this week. Um, my depression symptoms have kicked in again. But, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good because I've stuck to what I want to do and it doesn't matter about my mental health <clears throat> about my mental health I will get through this yeah because I want milestone Monday yeah and the last one I've got here is it's a journey so there's gonna be highs and lows and and achievements and and downfalls and that's what isn't it it's just life i started uh on the 18th of september it was my daughter's birthday two days after um and you know we had that takeaway food remember so yeah you know what i mean like you're only human and you know you're gonna like you're not mess up but you know like i can't stick to the same foods <coughs> all the time you know what i mean and if my body's craving something i'm gonna give it it yeah that's all I've got to say really about that. I'm really proud of myself for sticking with it and for not giving up and for knowing that this is it and I will see you soon. So, bye.